All right, guys, so let's start page number six. Um, so the front of page six looks like this. It's just um, some pretty fish paper, a little stamp, a um, little starfish, some gold gears, and some sequins. So let's go ahead and get started. This one is actually going to be probably hopefully pretty quick now that I've said that probably won't. So um, I took the starfish from um, this paper right here and the stamp from this paper. Okay. And two. started some laundry. The puppy is in the shower right now and I think the thing that's going to take the longest is punching these little holes and when I punch them what's going to happen is I'll be able to go back and just cut them off. And I'll show you guys that in just a moment. It's going to give me that postage edge look. Now I do have scissors that give this but they're not as delicate and this is something that I've done before um, to give the postage edge look. So I'm going to just go ahead and do all four sides and then when I get everything done. I'll cut it and you guys will be able to see what I mean. This little, um, I think this is a 1 16th hole punch. It like fits perfectly in the little grooves of the outside of the stamp. And I mean, honestly, I don't feel like it takes that long. And it's such a cute detail that, you know, why not, right? Now with this you just have to be careful that you have it punched too close to the edge otherwise it's going to start doing that or you haven't cut too close to the edge otherwise you won't get kind of that same effect and that's totally jinxed myself when I said oh it shouldn't take too long but now I have to be a little extra careful on this edge. Oh my gosh it's giving my hand a workout. <laughs> done. I'm going to shake my hand because apparently I'm not used to squeezing just like that. Okay. Oh my poor hubby. I hear him coughing. Hopefully that shower will help make him feel a little better. going to be a super quick page. Front and back. The back is just a very simple um, belly band. Although I probably shouldn't say, oh, it's just a simple this or that. Okay. I should probably punch just a little bit more. There we go. All right. There we go. There we go. And 
cut this all the way up, just like that. Okay. All right, and there is my little post-it edge. I'll be back in just a second, guys. Excuse me. Okay, so I've got that all set. Let's go ahead and ink it before I forget. Because, excuse me, I am notorious for forgetting that. This paper, I'm going to just glue or adhere straight down. I was just thinking about, um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, something that I was telling my one of my friends earlier. Uh, there is someone on YouTube that I absolutely adore watching. She's just so fun and bubbly and just, you know, um, she's great. And I pretty much just like stalk her. I don't interact or anything like that. It's just, you know admiring you know her videos and things like that but there are a couple of things that she says that just drive me crazy and do you what does that happen to you guys there's just someone that you absolutely love and you love watching but there's um some certain things that they they say that just drive you crazy because you're like no that's not the right word for that and they just always say that anyway I was just thinking about that because I was saying I'm going to glue it down when I should have actually said adhere and I probably have said glue when I meant adhere a million times so that's what reminded me of that so anyway with that being said let's keep going so now I'm just gonna fuzzy cut this little guy and I <clears throat> excuse me wanted to fussy cut this one because I just felt like it needed some more orange brought in with it because there's so much blue and green in that paper. Let's see. Okay. <clears throat> I was actually just thinking to myself trying to figure out how many parts are actually going to be in this series and I know there's going to be one for each of the pages probably one for the cover and then one for the box maybe two for the box because of the construction and and all of that so who knows so there might be eight nine parts of it which would be my shortest late night crafting <clears throat> series ever in the history of time, both in length of these videos, but also in um, just in the sheer number of them. I think most of the series run, you know, 13 videos long or something like that. This definitely has been a much quicker series when you know what you're doing. Okay, so I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just copying what I did before. Shouldn't be rocket science because I've already done it twice. <laughs> so, it shouldn't be too hard. Okay. So this guy's gonna get Stuck right there. Okay. Now, let's see. I need these. Holy cow, I think I just got through without needing to make more gold gears. 
It's not that I couldn't, it's just it's a little more, and it actually is a larger one. Um, it would be more difficult because, like I said before, I was kind of a dummy. And I did not save the cut file. So it would, it would just prove that it's slightly more difficult to make sure that they're all kind of the same size. But now I don't have to. I will try and remember to... <coughs> Excuse me. Um, link it down below the cut file that I used. So I'm going to use that. And that one. And I'm going to just let it hang off, just like that. Because I think it's pretty like that. And I really don't mind if it's hanging off. And there's enough space Oops. to tuck everything behind. Okay, final touches. Final touches are going to be sequins. And there those are. So there's about three. I almost feel like I should add more sequins to this particular page. It's feeling a little naked. Push that in right there. Okay. My poor hubby. I just hear him out there coughing. Excuse me. Done and done. I do want to make sure that that sticks tail now. Just at the very bottom. So I'll set that right there. Sometimes I have a hard time with that. Okay, now, final page is this one right here. So I need to reset and I will be right back. Okay, I'm ready to go with the third page, or the third, oh my gosh, the sixth page. So I need to actually cut this down. And I cut just a little bit also. Perfect. And there's a little more yellow on top. Just like the other one. And I'm okay with that. Okay, so what I need to do is I don't care which Oh, that's interesting. They're going the other way. Huh. Interesting. Okay. So, on this one, what I'm going to do is ink before I put those down. Like that. Ink, ink. This one, you know, the last one I did might have been a border from something else. Oh, I know what it is. Okay, so if you look at this paper, these go this way, and 
these go this way and it doesn't matter to me it's just on the one that I used before I think I use this strip not that strip so that's fine <laughs> Okay, so that's all inked up, and I want to try and center that, like that, crease it, center that, like that, I'm going to cut off the extra going to grab, set that out of the way, and grab my glue, glue the back down. Okay. So it'll take no time. Now, okay, when it lays flat, it should be just fine. Make sure I put this on right side up. And this one... I'll use my ATG. I could use my wet glue, but ATG is fine for this one. Okay. Fold in all of, kind of push in all that extra adhesive. Make sure, okay, it's right side up. <laughs> don't want to glue it on and then be like, oh, it's not right. Yeah. Okay. Alright, now I need one more fish. I'm going to cut, I'm going to fussy cut him out. For my little stop at the bottom. out. I'm trying to get all these pages filmed so I can edit and upload them and start scheduling them and that way because I probably won't get to the box or the binding tonight because it's getting late fast. I'm getting tired. Um, let's see, where is my... Oh, there it is. It's so little I can barely see it now. Um, my piece. I'm going to do two thicknesses. Because one just doesn't seem to be cutting it on the other pages. The, I wanted to use it as kind of like a stop. And it doesn't seem to be doing as good of a job as I thought that it would be doing. Okay. So. But I probably just kind of shot myself in the foot. Yes, I did. Okay. Stay there. Thin enough, but it's a little too long. So we'll go there, there. We will put a little bit adhesive there and there. So these are going to go on the very bottom like that. This is going to go right like that. Just kind of 
hold it all in place. And then I still have to create the little tags for it. So I just kind of push everything down. Put that right there. Okay, I need some. There's some black cardstock I can use right there. I'm gonna need some more. Um, let's see. I'm gonna make sure that that sticks down. Here is my paper trimmer. Now, this is going to be, we'll say two by two and a half. So, let's cut this to two by two and a half, and that is not enough. So, let's Let's get that inked. And no updates yet on coverage for the nurse. I don't know if she's heard anything from either the other two um, clinical nurses. But I would assume if something needed to be done, she would have already contacted me and that was not straight. I just realized. There we go. Better to notice now than later. Okay, so there's that and now I need to grab Okay, so I said two and a half. Okay, so two and a half, so let's go by two, just under two. And I know that this pattern paper is not going in the same direction as the others, but I'm okay with that. Sometimes I am, sometimes I'm not. I guess it just kind of depends on my mood. Sometimes I think maybe it gives it a little more character, sometimes it doesn't. Alright, so there is that. Okay, now let's get these pieces adhered. Very good at driving this ATG. Okay, let's go ahead. Little goober, right there. This might be. one might need to be recut because it's not quite the same size as this one. Okay. Let's get that one. There we go. Okay. So here is one. Now 
this one. It's a little more trimming. Oh, almost took out the camera. Let's fix that real quick. Sorry about that, guys. Again, like I said, I was charging, so. Okay, now this one is just, I have to trust myself on this one. And it's just a couple little slivers off. And that'll work. Okay, so let's. We ink those two and put that down. Like that. And I'm going to actually cut off. There we go. Just like that, which means this piece I need to have. Just a little bit taken off to fit correctly. Ink that. Now everything should fit. As the hubby would say, more better. Okay. There is that. There you go. All right, page six is done and done. So now we're going to go on to the binding and the cover. So I'll see you guys in a bit.